Australian uh, player. You've seen great rivalries with England and New Zealand. What does the India versus Pakistan rivalry mean to you? To be totally honest, when I think about it, it it's one that we've been starved of, haven't we, for, for obvious obvious reasons. Um, looking back the last you know 15 or 20 years, I'm sure it means more to the, the players from both of those countries than it would from from an outsider. But you know that, that's when I think about rivalries. You know, Australia, England. Um, Ashes cricket is is the pinnacle I've always thought of our Test match game, and I'm I'm sure uh, India, uh, the Indians and the, and the Pakistanis will say um, the same about um, their, that actual rivalry would be the pinnacle of, of Test match cricket for, for those two countries as well. So I'm sure that's the way they think about it. So, but any any time as a cricket lover like I am um, and a cricket observer, any any time those sort of battles come up, it's almost always nice to sit back and watch because it's. Everything just goes up a notch, doesn't it? It is going to be the big clash, India versus Pakistan at the MCG at the T20 World Cup. But we're also going to see uh, one at the Asia Cup on August 28th. Care to stick your neck out and pick a winner for that one? <laughs> you put me on the spot there. Um, no, look, as well, I said, I said India. I said India. I think would win the Asia Cup, so I'll stick with India to, to win that that clash against Pakistan. I mean, that's taking. Nothing away from Pakistan because they they are an incredible cricket nation that continue to present out and out superstar players. Um, they've had a tough run as we know the last 20 years with not being able to play a lot of cricket at home. That looks like it's slowly starting to turn as well. Um, yeah, but their ability pr to produce and stand up and, and win um, big games of cricket in big events um, is something to behold. So I think India will win narrowly.